Hi, name Sheer, Sheer of Shears. Welcome to my gaming channel. Here I'm going to be playing Necropolis Rule Edition. This is one of my favorite games, and I hope to convey that to you guys through gameplay. Let's get started. Let's see, continue. Oh, yeah, right. Um, I had like a quick thing where I was just testing out the game, but I didn't really do anything. So let's just restart game. I must uh, go with Lekar, daughter of Erwo. Uh, I haven't. I've already played the game once, playing the brute character, but I haven't uh, beaten the game with uh, uh, Blackheart, daughter of Erwo. So that's the plan. Four rings for the Falden King, son of the stars. Eight for dwarf. Borrow lords in their halls of orange. Um, what the hell rhymes with orange? That's, um, that's triangle head for you. Or pyramid head. Uh, this game is a basic exp uh, dungeon exploration game with, um, lots of collecting items, elements, and destructible environment. I'm playing on a Xbox One controller. Um, my reasoning is I like Xbox 360 controllers more, honestly, but like there's no real big difference. Um, I had to try and find my adapter for my Xbox 360, but I couldn't do that, so we're just gonna do this. In this game, our uh, boss slash enemy is this guy, Brazen Head. Um, he's a pyramid with an eye. And he's extremely sarcastic. And that is why I love him. He gives us quests and stuff for us to do in our gameplay. So then we can unlock tokens. And we use tokens to buy tomes. Like these. Uh, tomes have different effects from uh, this one. Making it so that you uh, slowly recover from any wound. And... This one, Carpe Per Diem, which increases, which doubles the amount of money you collect. This is one I like to carry around with me because uh, more money means you can buy better loot. And then this one is kind of similar to it, except it cuts the prices of stuff in the store. So, you use this, get as much money as you can. You use this one, then you pay less overall. So, that's the basic, like plan that I like to do when I'm playing this game. We're gonna go off to the right. One of my favorite things about this game is that it's random. And when I say random, I mean like the items are randomized every single time except for like the most basic of items. Like the, if you look in my bottom left, you'll see um, my health bar, my stamina bar, and then a triangle with an item on it. It's called a standard ration. That's the f healing item that allows me to heal. And it's like with the most basic one. But potions and scrolls that I find along the game will have a uh, random element to them until I figure out what they do. And here we are fighting our first enemy, skeletons. They're, this is like one of the more common enemy types you will find playing this game. And they're pretty decent, they're not super tough to fight. Just kill them dead. Uh, and it doesn't look like they respawn in this area. They were just like four skeletons and two that were just slow to respawn. Uh, my reason for really liking this game is I'm a big Dark Souls fan. And this game just reminds me a lot of Dark Souls. Here is uh, another one of our most common enemies in this game. The Hordesman? Yeah, Hordesman. They like to scream. They're very big on screaming, these guys. They see me, they scream, then they die. Uh, as you can see, I'm killing these uh, smaller um, pyramid heads. Kind of like py pyramid spiders. 
because usually every time you kill them they drop money and a random weapon. Usually in the early stages when you're fighting them and they drop random weapons, it's like a really lame weapon. Uh, but the uh, deeper in you go, the more common it is for them to drop something that's a little bit more interesting. And here we have a poor soul who's trapped forever. If I could taunt in this game, I would. Oh! That was my bad. So I had my shield up. There we go. Oh, and a ration. Awesome. Oh, no, I wanted a ration. There we go. Another interesting thing about this game is that your stamina goes down as you fight. So it's up to you to eat items in order to regain that stamina. And the button to eat stuff is X. There we go. And just like in Dark Souls, if you hold your shield up while trying to regain stamina, the regain is very much slower. So you don't always want to be holding up shield, is like the biggest point. Uh, you could s I'm swapping weapons because I want to drop this sword I picked up from one of the Hordesmen for the Briar Blade. Mostly because it's faster, and being able to get hits out faster is important. Uh, my reasoning for wanting to be a video game commentator is just that I really like video games. Video games are pretty much my entire life. Uh, my, I've been playing video games since I was uh, in elementary school. Well, actually probably even sooner. I remember my dad buying me these, like, uh, learn how to read games on the on computer. Like um, Sammy the Fish and uh, the three alien siblings and whatnot. I really enjoyed those games, and then I got my first real game, or at least I'll, I consider a real game, uh, Pokemon Gold on the Game Boy Color. My cousin gave it to me when I was in elementary school. That's my reasoning for saying elementary school. Ooh, fall into a trap. Oh, perfect. What I did there was I brought a guy in towards the trap so then he can get hit by it. But see, I can't get any of that without getting hit by the trap myself. So I'm just gonna walk by. But yeah, my first video game was Pokemon Gold for the like, Game Boy Color. And I've been playing video games. Mostly Pokemon, but I've done other games as well. As you can see, this game is very different from Pokemon, so I've played some games other than the other than Pokemon. Here we have a chest. Oh, the important part of this game, you also want to be looking around for stuff like ladders and whatnot. Here I found a recipe for a potion. I have no idea what this potion does. It's up to me to find the ingredients along the way to figure out what this potion does. Ingredients usually you get from like killing enemies and small uh, mobs along the way. You'll find like rats and other smaller things you can kill, like the tiny pyramid spiders I've been fighting. Uh, careful of these statues, they can be trapped sometimes. These guys shoot ray beams at me, but, oh, damn, yeah, we're really not trying to get hit, but okay. And then when I kill them, I get their face as a shield. Ain't that neat. I just kill someone and then I use their face as a shield. And here's another one. See what I mean by the fat, uh, speed of the blade? Like, the faster the speed, the more damage you can output, in addition to how much damage you can just put out, so increasing your DPS like exponentially. I'm sure like the smaller weapons do less damage in general, but you definitely want to be able to uh, put out more DPS so then you don't have to worry about dying as quick. I'm gonna run away here because Shark Boy does a lot of damage. 
and I should heal. All right. The most unfortunate thing is you don't heal too much for these rations. It's mostly for stamina regen, so yeah, I gotta figure out a way to heal, like, a more consistent heal. I'm just gonna be over here trying to draw aggro of these monsters, because the big shark guys, I preferably want to fight one-on-one, -on -one, as opposed to having other mobs, because they hit hard. They're, like, equivalent to Black Knights in Dark Souls. Oof. Ow. And, oh, they hit enemies around you. And they have big moves like those that cause a lot of, cause them to do a whole bunch of stuff. Oof. Oof. Yeah, it's not preferable to fight these guys early game. Oh, at least in my opinion, because they hurt a lot. And they have big moves where they just send you flying. I'm most likely going to die from this. I really don't like these guys because they're really strong. And it kind of sucks to fight them early game. At least the other one's kind of like afraid of his friend too. Otherwise, I'd be fighting him as well. Oh, these guys are kind of almost as afraid as me as I am of them. Probably because I'm faster. But yeah, I, like I said, I'd rather fight one of them at a time because they hurt. I do not have a lot of health. Um... Uh... A uh, great thing about this game is there are two different ways to go. So I could keep on trying to fight this guy and then fight his brother over there. Or I could just turn around and go in the, go towards the opposite door because there was another door in the opening area. So just to save the fact I don't want to die, I'm just, I'm just going to go to the other door. It's the safest and smartest option for me right now. Especially since I don't want to take any damage. So, avoiding these traps and just walking by, that's my plan. Oh, this is what I was talking about. This is another one of the mobs where you just pick up uh, craftables. Oh, uh, the startup menu, not this one, this one. This is the menu that you would use to, uh, this is the menu you'd use to look at items that you have, and then hitting RB, you can check out what you can craft. Like here, I could craft uh, rotten food, standard ration. Uh, Adventurous Chalk, which tells me where I've been. And then Recipe for Elephoff's Mystical Boon. And Polko's Punching Potion. Okay, this, uh, the scroll that I found was a recipe, so then it'll tell me exactly what's on it, so. That's, that's fair, like. But there are other scrolls you'll, I'll find, like, along the way that just don't tell me what it does so until I use it or find a scroll of identification to figure out what it does. And the funny thing is you could find um, scrolls of identification randomly through the game if you haven't already seen one, and then you have a scroll that identifies scrolls, and you're using it to figure out what scrolls you have, and if it's the one scroll that you have to find out what, you're trying, what it is, so then you just waste a scroll. If not, you're just using a scroll. This is kind of silly, but I like it. This game's quirky like that. So like I said, we're just going to run to the other direction. Pick up items along the way. Hopefully one of these guys drop something good. Oh, if you walk up to these like writings on the walls, you'll get a little bit of lore bit. Turowat still hunts, hoping for vengeance. She's behind you right now. Just kidding. How would I know? I wrote this hundreds of years ago. So yeah, there are um a lot of memes in this game. Or at least like this game is always trying to meme you. Get over here, you damn rat king. Uh, those guys dropped essential oils. I just ran into fire and lost health. I'm a genius. This wall says, Cyril the Clever infiltrated a hundred courts in the name of Abraxas. No other spy was ever so practiced. 
See, this isn't, this is just like lore, but at the same time it's useless lore because you'll probably never need to know any information that's really on these walls. It's just fun lore bits. And this is, when graphics to Demon Sultan attacked the City of Pillars, the Braxis Lord of All Mirrors was like, Oh no, he didn't! I'm like, hmm. I did not know that Abraxas was a middle-aged black woman. Okay. Cool. Uh, moving on, like, this game, uh, reasons I like this game, very similar to Dark Souls, it's uh, roguelike. If you die, you gotta start over from the very beginning, regardless of where you started. Uh, regardless of where you died. So, you you have to just keep on going uh, in terms of level. Um, I, I lost a decent amount of health, so I'm going to switch to the item that heals me slowly. And we're going to go through this other door. Uh, to progress through the game, you want to keep on going downward. Uh, but you gotta find an elevator, and the elevator is marked by a door with a really long jaw. It looks similar to the other doors, but just like their jaw is just longer in general. Here we have a couple uh, screamers. Oh, well, should have healed. I could have bought food or healing item from the store, but you know, we it's a learning experience. We learned. We. Jumped into the game, just trying to figure things out, and we learned a little bit of the stuff. So, next time, guys, we're gonna go deeper into the dungeon known as Necropolis, and hopefully, we'll be able to go to the next floor. This is Bashir, uh, Sheer of Shears. Glad, hope you guys enjoyed my video. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again.